Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna do a four week puppy update. All right, so we have an exciting day today. The puppies are about four weeks old and we're gonna get puppy weights. Can you say hi? Good morning. We're gonna do puppy weights and get nails trimmed. And by we, I actually mean Michaela because she does all the work around here. There she is there. So she's got the scale out and is getting the puppies weighed. Ryland's giving her a hand here. Who do you have there, Rylan? Do you remember his name? Cambridge? Cambridge. Yeah, there's Cambridge this morning. I'm trying to get those. Benelli's puppies. Mommy. We'll get them, Mommy. hang on one second. We'll get them some puppy mush and get their whelping boxes cleaned up. Get the big girls fed. There's Kimber's puppies. We'll show you them. They're looking fabulous, aren't you puppies? And we'll do a new novelty exposure item. Um, we did these the other day. I'll have to post a video of that. It was so cute. They were like crawling on it and they were chewing on the, the stacks of the, I don't know, what is this? Front loader. So those are things we're gonna be doing today and follow us along. making some puppy mush for the puppies. Um, we just use like a puppy formula, mix it with water, dump it in, and then we also just grind up our regular <coughs> um, dog food and mix that up to make a puppy mush. So that's what we're gonna work on now. pads out so we can put the puppy mush on there. There's little indigo. She's, she's gonna, exploring around. She's exploring around. Yep, so Ryan's gonna she's lay the- She's trying to walk and she's just walking. Pull them apart just a little bit, babe. There you go. Okay, so Ryland's bringing the food over, the puppy mush, and you wanna start it pretty liquidy and then we'll gradually get thicker as they get used to it. So she's gonna set that down there and then they're gonna start bringing all the puppies over. Okay, so I sound super annoying, I know that, okay? However, that is a gift to our family. So now that they're eating puppy mush, every time we feed them, we say, pup, pup, puppy! And basically what it's doing, I hope you can hear me over the, all, over all the whining, oh, it's gonna be so messy, okay? But basically that is a gift to our families because it's imprinting on the puppies that every time they hear, 
they are going to get fed. So the reason that we do that is because if you're in a situation where they're going to run across the road, you know, in traffic, or they're going to fall off of something, or whatever the emergency situation you can be, and you say, pup, pup, puppies, that puppy is going to turn on a dime and come to you, okay? So um, we are getting that idea and that technique from a, a, the advanced um, curriculum that we're used that we're using and I'll explain that in a minute and show you guys that but for now we're gonna work on pup, pup, puppies. Pup, pup, puppies. Yep. Look at how messy that is we're gonna have to get them cleaned up. That bowl's getting cleaned up. Yeah look she's got it all over her head but they love it. Okay, so Michaela is changing the bedding while the puppies are eating. We um, change the bedding of the whelping box and just spray it up and get everything nice and clean. So that's what Michaela's gonna work on while the puppies are eating. And then we'll also start mixing up the puppy mush for Kimber's puppies. Okay, so Michaela's getting that mopped up there. We'll get some new whelping pads down. The puppies, these puppies are almost done. Look, they got it licked clean. Wow. And they're shivering. And they're shivering. So we gotta get them cleaned up. So we're gonna um, get Kimber's puppies started here, and then we'll start cleaning up Benelli's puppies. Me, when they play with all the puppies, baby. All right, let's start getting these puppies over. And girls, what do we say when we start feeding them? A front row seat then. Back over there, so they're getting the new pads down. And then we've got our buckets of a little bit of soapy water, nice and hot to get the Nelly's puppies cleaned up. Okay, so getting all the puppies cleaned up is a bit chaotic as we're trying to transfer puppies. There's Colt and Remy, look how big they're getting. Remy, or Colt's almost as big as Benelli now. So Kayla's going to get them inside. I'm going to hand Hayden this trash can. And Kimber likes to clean up the puppy mush, so she's sitting there waiting, trying to get in on her puppy's mush. No, no. I'm going to hand Hayden the trash thing. She's going to get that cleaned up and get clean whelping pads. And then I'm going to set you guys up, and we're going to start taking Benelli's puppies over and getting them cleaned up. can get pretty chaotic but with lots of hands we get the task done so we're gonna clean up um, this middle section here and get it mopped and then 
Yep, and then we'll switch out our um, soapy buckets and get clean water for Kimber's puppies and then uh, get them cleaned up. Look how lit clean they got that pan. Ah, that makes my job a little bit easier when I go to do the dishes. Yeah, that makes my job easier. What are you doing? With the puppy you're, you're snuggling with the puppy while you're eating? No. <laughs> now what are you doing? Snuggling with the puppy. <laughs> now that the puppies are able to be snuggled and they're a little bit older, the girls are sneaking away from schoolwork and <laughs> snuggling with the puppies, huh? All right. So, honey, his skin is not falling off. There's that. Oh, just wipe him off. He's just, well, just dry him. Just dry him. So we got a clean whelping box. Rylan's warmed them up a little bit. Vanelli was nursing, but she's done. Okay, we got this area all cleaned up here. Ryland's still snuggling some puppies. <gasps> yep, she's gonna get them warmed up. And then we're gonna let Kimber in here to clean up the trays. When the puppies are almost done. Oh, so cute puppy. Lindor's getting out. So they're about finished, and then we'll get that area cleaned up. cleaned up Kimber's in there with her puppies um, just a couple things that we do to try to keep things clean and smelling fresh is I have a um, diffuser running here with some essential oils to eliminate the smells and then also over here which I need to get something over here but <clears throat> I have this air purifier running there and then I need to get in this box over here. Hang on. Okay, so here is Benelli or Kimber's puppies. They're all nice and clean. I got their whelping box. Whoops. And the area out there mopped. So she's gonna settle in there with them, get them cleaned up, and then I'll show you um, what Michaela's doing over here now. <gasps> what happened to you? Oh my, did you get into the Nutella? <gasps> oh, what a mess. So Michaela is doing some medicine, deworming medicine. So she's gonna work on that with the puppies. Benelli's puppies are starting to sleep. <laughs> Usually the puppies, if you can hear that, is what happens when the moms come in and like tease them. Oh, we're gonna nurse, and then they decide not to. <laughs> so Kimber, I thought was gonna settle in there, but her puppies are a little bit ooh, anxious and wanting to nurse. Okay, so again, we got this area all cleaned up and mopped, dishes done. So I uh, started to say that one of the things, or the gifts that we give our um, puppy buyers is the basically emergency recall of pup, pup, puppy, pup, pup, puppy, and I know it's super annoying. However, every time, the day that we started introducing um, puppy mush, we started saying that when they eat, just throughout um, when they're eating. So, um, and we did that from, I don't even know how to say her name, 
Jeanette Forey, maybe, and I'll put a link down in the comments to her YouTube channel and her website and stuff that you guys can check her out. But that is the um, breeding program that we follow on the advanced curriculum and different things. Um, and something else that I've done for our puppy buyers is I'm going to include this book in with their go home bag. It's called Raising the Empowered Puppy. And the reason that I got it is the program that I'm doing with the puppies, with the ENS, the ESI, the um, novelty box exposure items, the handling exercises, all these things that I'm doing. Um, you know, once you get that puppy home, well now what do I do with the puppy, right? So that's why I'm gonna include this book in the puppy bag so that um, you bring home this puppy, you don't know what to do with it, how do I continue? You know, I have your puppy from um, zero to eight weeks and then you take them home and from eight to 16 weeks, zero to 16 weeks is the most impressionable um, part of a puppy's life. It's laying the foundation for their behaviors, their temperament, that kind of thing. Obviously we've done what we can, you know, breeding wise to, um, breed the best dogs possible, the most healthy dogs, the best temperamented dogs. But then once you get that puppy home at eight weeks, you have to know what to do. So this book walks you through 16 weeks with the puppy and what you can do to continue some of the things that we've started here at Ferguson Family Dane. So I'm super excited for you guys to get this. Um, if you're getting a puppy from us, I think it'll be a really, really helpful tool for you and help you to be successful when you bring your puppy home. So as for our day, I obviously need to clean up my baby. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get him cleaned up. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of exercise, keep the kids going on school. Hi, Hayden. I'm gonna um, put in a load of laundry. There's lots of laundry every day, um, making sure the belting pads are kept clean. So that's what I'm gonna do. Michaela's gonna finish Benelli's puppies with um, their deworming medicine, and then we'll pick up at lunch. Look at that yummy breakfast. JD's doing some reading. Kobe's finishing up some chores. And the girls are working on some school there. All right, guys, I am headed with a couple of the kids to speech. The other kids are gonna stay here. Here's Benelli. Um, Michaela's gonna get the big girls some lunch. We did get these trays today. So we will set up, um, now that the puppies are four weeks and they're um, starting on mush, they need to have a potty area. So we got these trays and we'll have um, like a graded area. So we'll figure that out and you can join us as we do that. So we'll get that, <coughs> oh, excuse me. We'll get that set up uh, this afternoon once I'm home um, from speech with the kids and some of them are laid down. So that'll be the next thing we work on. Okay, so we just finished up at speech. We're going to run to um, Tractor Supply and get some more deworming medicine and then we'll head home for the puppies. All right, Ryan, we got our panicker. We're gonna head on home. Okay, here are Kimber's puppies. There's some tactile pads there and the puppy poop is alive. And then we're exposing them to some helmets, but they're more <laughs> concerned about what's going on out here. Hi, puppies! Hi. What are you doing? You want to be out here? Huh? Benelli, what are they doing? Well, they got some playmates. They're going to go see the girls. <laughs> Good job, puppies. Good job, puppies. Yeah. A 
Okay, so my hubby, who's coming down the steps now, <laughs> he's behind everything we do. JJ, you say hi. There's JJ. We are going to, or not we, he are gonna, is gonna cut down these. So if you can see, there's like a little bit of a height difference and we want these to be sitting on the floor. So in his magic brain that fixes everything around here is going to just shorten these a little bit so that that will sit directly on the floor. So he's gonna work on that. Obviously he's got a lot of tools. He's gonna work on that. Michaela is finishing clipping some puppy's nails. It's a very tedious process because you don't want to go too deep. Oh, Cayenne's giving you kisses. So she's going to do that. Hayden and I are going to get some puppy mush going for Kimber's puppies. They're done with their curriculum. And then once they eat, we'll get them cleaned up and put back with Kimber and then get them settled for the night. So we'll set you up and get her done. Hey guys, so my phone died. Sorry about that. I missed JJ cutting the um, things here. So he trimmed those down and got the puppy trays cut. We got the Kimber's litter fed again. She's licking those up. That tray, those trays up, and then Michaela's. We washed the puppies, and they are exhausted. So she's getting them warmed up and dried off. I have, sorry, I'm like throwing the camera all over the place. Um, I have no Benelli. I have Benelli's puppy stuff ready. So I'm gonna get her fed with her food, and then start transferring the. Um, Benelli's puppies over here and then we'll get them cleaned up and put away. So I'll just set you up and watch us work. about done oh we're gonna have to fix that so we added the potty area here I'm not sure if that's gonna work or not so we'll see how they do tonight and go from there I don't think it's a big enough area take that out of there um, yeah I don't think it's a big enough area for them to potty, but we'll see. So um, anyway, I took out that middle section and extended that and added the potty area. I'll probably just take out the pig rail. I don't know, I might leave it in there just because it makes me nervous. I'll probably just grab the, the feet like this thing here and um, pop it in the, the bottom section here like this. I don't know if you can see that, but. And then just turn it like that. So I'll do that over there with that one. And then I got some Nutella with this. Michaela's getting the middle section cleaned up. And then Benelli, we did the same thing with her section. And, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. There you go. So, I think we're done for the day. It is a beautiful fall day today. I'll have to take you outside and show you how beautiful it is. I don't know where you're at or, or the time of year you might be watching this, but it is just gorgeous here. All oh, the light's going to be in the way. I'll take you down here show you so it's not it's just 
It's just beautiful. All the leaf colors. I hope you can see that. But it's just gorgeous. What? Where are your pants? Like, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's just so pretty. So anyway, I hope you are, guys are having a beautiful, oops, oh, sorry, Ren. Hi, Remy. Hello, all oh, stay down. I hope you are having a beautiful day today. I think we're gonna try to get out and enjoy a nice little walk before dinner. So thanks for following us along today. This is probably gonna be a long video. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.